हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस द क्वेश्चन इज प्ले पी वन टॉस इज फोर फेयर कॉइन्स एंड प्ले पी टू टॉस इज अ फेयर डाई इंडिपेंडेंटली ऑफ पी वन द प्रॉबिलिटी दैट द नंबर ऑफ हेड्स ऑब्जर्व इज मोर दैन द नंबर ऑन द अपर फेस ऑफ द डाई इक्वल्स सो प्ले पी वन टॉस इज फोर फेयर कॉइन्स एंड पी टू टॉस इज अ फेयर डाई इंडिपेंडेंटली ऑफ पी वन Now let x be the number of heads which follow binomial distribution with n is equal to 4 and p is equal to half and y is a number on the upper face follows rectangular distribution With parameter six, and we have been given that f f x that x and y are independent. So f x x, that is the PDF of x is four c x half to the power x into half to the power four minus x. This is four c x into half to the power four. Where x can go from zero to four, and f y y is equal to one by six, where y ranges from one to six. Now, since f x and y are independent, so f x y is equal to f x into f y. That is four c x half to the power four into one by six. Now the required probability that x greater than y can be calculated as the y ranges from one to six and x greater than y. 4 c x half to the power 4 into 1 by 6, and this is equal to 1 by 6 into 2 to the power 4. This constant comes out. Summation y is equal to 1 to 6. Summation x greater than y. 4 c x. Now this becomes 1 by Six into sixteen, four c two plus four c three plus four c four plus four c three plus four c four plus four c four. So we get one by ninety six. Into six plus four plus one plus four plus one plus one. That is equal to seventeen by ninety six. So the correct option is option C. The next question is: Let x one and x two be IID continuous random variables with probability density function. f x is equal to six x into one minus x for x greater than zero and less than one, or zero otherwise. Now, using Chebyshev's inequality, the lower bound of probability mod of x one plus x two minus one less than equal to half is. Now, let us define a random variable z to be x one plus x two. Then, expectation z. Is equal to expectation x one plus x two equal to two expectation x. Since the variables are i i d, and this becomes two zero to one x into six x one minus x dx 
this is equal to 2 into 6x squared 1 minus x dx and this is 12 x squared minus x cube where x ranges from 0 to 1 is equal to 12 x cube by 3 minus x to the power 4 by 4 limit range where limits are 0 and 1 and on solving this you will get this to be equal to 1 and expectation of x1 squared is equal to 0 to 1 6x into x squared into 1 minus x dx this is 6 0 to 1 x cube minus x to the power 4 dx and this is equal to 6 into x to the power 4 by 4 minus x to the power 5 by 5 0 to 1 so this becomes 6 into 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5 and on simplifying this on calculating this you'll get to be equal to 3 by 10 so variance of z square is equal to 2 or rather first we'll calculate expectation z square is equal to 2 into expectation x1 squared so this is 2 into 3 by 10 equal to 6 by 10 and variance of and from here since expectation z is equal to 2 expectation x was 1 so we get expectation x to be equal to half so, variance x is equal to expectation x squared minus expectation x whole squared. Now, expectation x squared was 3 by 10. So, 3 by 10 minus half squared. And this comes out to be 1 by 20 now variance z would be 2 into variance x this would be 2 into 1 by 20 this is 1 by 10 now Chebyshev's inequality states that probability z minus expectation z mod of z minus expectation z less than equal to k into standard deviation of z that is root over variance z is greater than equal to 1 minus 1 by k squared thus probability mod of x1 plus x2 minus 1 less than equal to k by root 10 greater than equal to 1 minus 1 by k squared now putting k is equal to root 5 by 2 we get probability x1 plus x2 minus 1 less than equal to root 5 by 20 to be greater than equal to 1 minus 2 by 5 and this 5 by 20 is equal to half this root 5 by 20 on simplification is equal to half and thus 
1 minus 2 by 5 is equal to 3 by 5. So our required probability is 3 by 5.